Okay, welcome to my second video on the cut copy paste, more specifically the advanced pasting box. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, that goes through a lot of the basics, uh, including the explanation of the align to measures and the interval box options within that box, and obviously how to call it back up and stuff like that. So if, if some of this is confusing, it might be an idea to look at that first video. This uh, I'm going to uh, concentrate mainly on envelopes and the copy and pasting of those and also show where it is uh, buggy. So in the f just to touch back briefly on that first video, obviously this method is fine if you want to do lots of copies or if you're working on multiple tracks and more importantly pasting multiple repetitions. But somebody did point out about control click on the uh, as a copy option being quicker and it certainly is if uh, I just demonstrate that you can just left click drag hold control key down and drag the, tr the clip where you want it so I go forward a couple of bars and as you can see that brings down the automation and the waveform as well so that's a, a, a quick method of copying if you just want to do the one copy obviously uh, if you want to start doing more than that I just undo that or if you want to paste just the clips or just the envelopes then the advanced paste options is uh, probably the easy way of doing it anyway I'm just going to re-highlight the part of the clicker clip again and control copy and as you can see up comes the copy box events in tracks track bus automation so I'm going to copy everything anyway uh, click on OK and I'm going to come down to track 12 in the same position but I'm going to paste two copies so I'm going to press alternate control V and bring up the advanced paste options box as you can see I've already been messing around yours will probably be set to one on the repetitions increase that to two or three the align to measures obviously is already checked uh, that will just make sure that each clip follows immediately after the one that's one before it when they're pasted rather than insert a gap I've, again I went through that in the first video so if you want to see how that's done refers to that what to paste I've deselected events clips here because I'm, I don't want to paste the actual waveform data I just want to pack but I paste the track automation so I make sure that's highlighted and the rest is deselected and click OK and you can't see that very well because it's ghosted at the moment but if I shift click on there just to bring up the way uh, the uh, envelopes you can now see that in fact there are the three copies of uh, both envelopes the other one being a volume envelope just under there as you can see you can jump between those and you can see that that's pasted correctly okay so that's the first stage how to paste just envelopes now the natural question to follow from that is what about if you want to just paste one envelope if I just control Z that's a little bit more fussy you can't do that from the actual paste options there you have to do that before you make the copy and to do so you go to the view options click on view come down to display and display goes to data but obviously if I select that now because both of the envelopes are ghosted we won't see anything so the first thing to do is highlight the envelope you want to copy and in this case I'm going to go with the pan envelope so I just shift click on that that's that highlighted as you can see the volume envelope is still ghosted so we're now going to go to that view menu I mentioned a second ago select display and uncheck display ghosted data as you can see that's uh, hidden the volume envelope so now when I select uh, the envelope like so and press ctrl C we still get asked what we want because we could still take the clip with us if we want the waveform uh, this time I'm going to unclip that so events in tracks we don't have we just have the track automation just the pan automation and I keep it simple I'm just going to come down a track and alternate ctrl V change the repetitions from 3 to 2 and click on OK as you can see that pastes two repetitions of that envelope and just to prove that the volume didn't come with it if I now go back up there and select display display ghost of data so you can see the ghost of data is indeed on that one but uh, there is nothing to shift click on there because there is no data there just show that in the HUD there we go you can just see the pan highlighted no volume so uh, that's how you get a single uh, envelope pasted. I suppose if you uh, you can't 
pick and choose say two of three or two of four I suppose the easiest way to do that then is either to if you if it's a couple from seven or eight then you could just copy the two individually like that one at a time if it was say two of three you could copy all three and just delete the one you didn't want so that's that I'm going to move on to the uh, envelope copy and paste on the uh, instrument tracks now as all the uh, not the simple instrument tracks sorry the actual synth track there uh, and that is a little bit more buggy as you will see okay if we wanted to uh, put a volume I'll say that volume envelope there onto this track obviously we can highlight that there uh, press alternate control V again for the advanced options we're going to drop it to one for now so it's just a one repetition and click on OK as you can see let's put that volume envelope there now as far as I'm aware there isn't any uh, bugginess at all with the volume envelopes on the uh, synth tracks so if I wanted to highlight that and control copy and then put it a bit further down say uh, in a bar's time and if I get excuse me just hit the space bar by mistake <laughs> right anyway if I now press alternate control V uh, there and increase the repetitions to two click on OK as you can see that has pasted as expected now where the automation does get buggy on the uh, synth tracks is when it comes to the synth automation I'll actually get rid of that envelope so we can't see that at all and insert a uh, some automation from Zeta itself uh, and we'll just go with one of the LFO speeds so there's the LFO speed uh, envelope and if we just put a little bit of automation on there something fairly simple so you can see what's actually happening here there we go right now if I highlight that to copy it as previously just make sure that's in there for the copy there we go and control C we don't get asked what we want to copy because we've only got one lot of data selected there basically so this is where the bugginess comes in now uh, I think the easiest way to, to show this is if I try and put in two repetitions so there we go two's already checked we'll leave it aligned to measures so they should come in one after the other click OK right you can straight away see that there's a problem there the actual envelope is still there as you can see but if you, oh, you probably can't see the uh, mouse let's just move that up a little bit so we'll stop that you probably can't see the mouse over well, one it's flashing and it's showing it's the LFO speed but the one that was pasted is now orphaned and there doesn't seem to be a way to reassign that to you can assign it to mute pan volume or any of the uh, pro channel controls but you can't reassign that to uh, another Zeta envelope and it's certainly not assigned as far as I know to the original one so you can see that's quite buggy and if you remember as well we inserted two copies and there's in fact only one so there's definitely something amiss there so if you have problems with the synthesizer or synth track automation that's why it's bugs they have well certainly I've reported what bugs I've found uh, and whether that gets fixed or not remains to be seen and you'll find much the same sort of thing with the bus automation as well it's very buggy uh, when it comes to copy and pasting so buggy in fact that I don't bother with it anymore it is possible to, to work around by building it up on a track but it's a bit convoluted and I, I, I just don't worry about it so that's that uh, MIDI tracks however they should be fine uh, let's just snap that in fact I might as well leave the MIDI track hole so deselect that anyway and uh, insert an envelope there so if we bring up the HUD and go for some MIDI automation on a controller uh, controller 11 for example and insert a little bit of automation there uh, and perhaps some there there we go and now if we copy that to paste that so that's control C you can see we get asked again whether we want events in tracks because obviously there's MIDI data there we'll actually take that this time and OK there and we'll just move down a bar after the end of where that finishes and we'll insert 
a couple of copies there so you can see that that works so I'll turn up control V check the repetitions is on two I'm actually going to put in uh, a bit of a gap here now this is a, a actually a good chance to show you as well how you can still have incomplete measure lengths as we did in the first video and a line to measures with a gap so I uncheck a line to measures and we come down to the interval of five bars and two beats I explained that in the last video uh, if I were to click on OK now I would get the second pace would start at uh, measure 5 beat 2 relative to the first paste and obviously would then be out of time it wouldn't be in time with the the rest of it because it's off the measures uh, clicking on a line to measures actually brings a gap up to 701 because it puts it onto the next uh, next measure but if I want a gap I need to set that before I click a line to measures so change that from a 5 to say a 9 which will actually give us four bars from the end there then click on align to measures you can see it now fills it out to 1101 because it's still padding out that short segment on the uh, on the odd odd piece that hasn't isn't a full bar click on OK there you can go you can see that it now starts on the measures with the correct gap in as well uh, and that just goes to show that the actual MIDI track pasting does work fine if I just undo that and this time I'll leave the now time where it is I'll bring up the alternate control V this time I'm going to leave the align to measures as it is on uh, 701 without putting that extra gap in and there you can see we now only have it's padded out that that last section from there to the next one and obviously paste the start on the measure so that's a, a an option as well I hope that makes sense it uh, certainly shows that there's a couple of bugs in the synth tracker automation as there is the bus automation uh, also hopefully you can now see how to do individual uh, envelopes as well even if there's more than one on a track hope that helps out anyway thanks